Hello, how are you doing? So, gonna make this really simple carrot and lentil soup today. Nothing to it. Got a bit of cumin in there. It's really, really delicious. It's healthy. It's budget friendly. It's vegetarian. It's even vegan. Welcome back to How to Cook Great. Okay, let's take a look at what we're gonna be using today. So, I've got three cups there, roughly, of carrots chopped, two cups of tomatoes. I'm using these little cherry tomatoes, but you can use any tomato you like about three cups of potato, which I've peeled, one cup of red lentils, one cup of onion, one tablespoon of garlic, and two teaspoons of cumin powder. We're gonna add some salt and pepper. Obviously, we're gonna add some liquid. I'm gonna be using water today, but if you wanted, you could be using a stock of some sort. Let's get moving. So you're gonna need a large pot or pan or something like that. In there, I've got three tablespoons of oil. I'm using an olive oil. We're gonna start off by dropping in one cup onion, one tablespoon chopped garlic, our carrots, three cups of those. And we're gonna go on a you know, fairly lively heat, I've just put the heat on for about four minutes. So let's just give them a little head start. If you wanted, you could be adding like some celery or something into this if you wanted. Right, potatoes, in they go. The lentils, which I've actually just washed through, give them a little rinse, just to get any sort of dust off them. So that's one cup of those. I'm gonna add those tomatoes, a bit of fresh tomato in there. Two teaspoons of cumin. Now I'm using cumin, but go with coriander, go with some chili, go with thyme, go with rosemary entirely up to you what you want to do. Salt, black pepper, and then we're going to go for about another four minutes stirring every now and then. So easy, this is nearly done. Okay, beautiful. Now I'm gonna add some liquid, of course, for our soup, and I'm using water if you want to use some sort of stock or something. And you need enough water to cover it. And that's gonna be quite thick. I'm gonna add a little bit more here. So I've probably put about three pints in there, I think. But we can adjust it later. Okay, stay on the high heat. What we're looking for is baby food. Okay, nice and super soft. So bring it to the boil, let it go for maybe about eight or nine minutes once it's at boiling point. And like I say, yeah, everything needs to be really, really soft. Give it a stir every now and then. Then we're gonna liquidize it up, beautiful. Okay, so that's been going for, let me just turn the heat off. That's been going for about eight or nine minutes. And I did put a bit more water in it because it started to kind of reduce down a bit. But yeah, we can see it's all very sort of soft now. See that, nice and soft. So we're gonna liquidize this now. And again, I might add some more water depending on the consistency and you can, you know, get it really thin or nice and thick up to you. Now look, I've got one of these fellas that go inside. So I'm gonna get in there and do that. See you in a minute. And there you go. That was just a couple of minutes. If you don't have one of these, I always say, it, get one. They're really cheap. I mean, you can get really cheap ones or really expensive ones, but yeah, they're really handy. Use it all the time. Okay. Job done, that's it. Check it for salt and pepper. If you want, you could run through some coriander or cilantro through that. But for me, that's it, job done. Simple, delightful. Very simple, very easy, and really, really delicious. Hope you enjoy that. Keep safe, keep well, everyone. I'll see you really soon. Lots of love.